we're going to start off our conversation looking at constrained optimization problems. So here's an example we want to look at. So f of xy is equal to 120x minus 4x squared minus 2xy minus 3y squared plus 96y minus 102. All right, and then we're going to look at a constraint. So let's first just look at this without a constraint. Okay, so I'm going to look here at example. And here we're going to have a column for x and a column for y. Now I like to highlight again just to let me know what are my choosing variables. Okay, and then I have some function of f of x, y. And so this function is equal to 120 times x minus 4 times x squared plus 2 times x oops, times y minus 3 times y squared plus 96 times y minus 102. And so that's my function there. Okay. Now I want to go to data solver and I want to maximize f of xy by changing x and y. Click OK, I click solve, and there I get 20.73 and 22.91. I'm going to highlight these, format cells, and just ram them to the nearest two decimal places. And there's my answer. 20.73 and 22.91. That's the allocation of x and y that'll make me the most out of f of x, y. But now let's look at this other issue, this issue of the constraint. So if we have a constraint such that we have a machine that can only produce 69 units of x or y of this linear combination, then what we found right here is 20.73 and 22.91 doesn't actually satisfy that constraint. Because this will be about 20 times 22 times 3 is about 66, about 86, which is greater or equal to 69. So now we need to change this so that we can satisfy this constraint. So back in Solver, we're going to establish what we call a left-hand side and a right-hand side part of the constraint. The left-hand side refers to x plus 3y. The right-hand side refers to 69. So my left-hand side is equal to x plus 3, oops, 3 times y. My right hand side is simply just 69. So now we see 89.45 is greater than 69, so we don't actually satisfy that, that constraint because the constraint is less than or equal to 69. So I come back to solver and I have it ma maximizing the, my objective function by changing x and y, but now I need to add a constraint such that my left hand side is less than or equal to my right hand side. I click OK, I click solve. And now we have the solution of 18 and 17. That is the x and y that maximizes our f of xy function such that we satisfy that constraint.